Well, welcome back, everyone. I'm gonna get to liking this social menu thing. It's actually pretty cool. Actually pretty neat. I would definitely use that if I was, like, making a video. Like an MXR-style video. Like old MXR, not not new MXR. New MXR videos, well, no. We're not going to talk about those, but the, the old-style videos, if you know what I'm talking about, those are pretty cool. It's a nice little pond over here as well. Lost Knife Hideout. Did I say a nice little pond over here? I think I meant, um... A horrible place where people go to be burned alive? Yeah. Maybe not so nice. I don't think I have, um... Hold on, do I have my... My buff anymore? My soap buff? Recently washed. Pretty sure that wears off after like four hours in game. Gonna go ahead and do it again then. Kind of annoying to be honest, to have to shower like every four hours. All right, making sure we haven't lost any items, because that does happen sometimes when you're doing that stuff. But no, looks like we're good. Okay, let's see what's here. Yeah, you really can't best me. Not with these arrows, bro. Cheese? Ooh, dwarven. Can train archery here. Should do that. I've been doing study heavy armor to get a, a jump on that. Where'd the guy go? There he is. Just some low level fur and iron stuff. Nothing we really need. And you... That much, okay. Iron ore. Don't care about iron particularly much. Funny, that's what I was going to say to you. What do we got here? Lady Binox, words and philosophy. Words of philosophy, I didn't see. Wanted to. You shooting at me from up there? That's cheating. Did you, did you get hit by that boulder? Ah, uh, that's funny. It just slowly rolled over him. Shouldn't really work like that, but it's kind of hilarious. Dwarven, orcish. There's some good stuff on these guys. My sword's like almost broken. I don't have any potions left of that type. Let me see. Like an 
Hit him! Damn it. Damn it. I was trying to swing. Should do that. And I should do... Uh, didn't I just bind those health potions? Oh, I bound a fortify health regen potion. That's not as helpful. Here, do that. Hold on. Oh crap. I didn't mean to do that at all. Meant to do my Berserker Rage. It's not on here. There we go. There we go. Gotcha. Bite of a flea, you say? Elven, orcish. How dare you insult me for being an orc and then use the armor of my people? I don't have any more restore stamina. I have fortify stam. I think I just wait an hour to get my stam back. You won't get away. There we go. dark in here. Oh, I, I, un I bound that to the wrong thing? Hold on. Hold on. One, and then this one's two. Yeah. No. Dang it. There we go. Yeah, rest in peace, guys. Got hit by your own boulders. Light crossbow, nothing else. Wait. Second area? Okay, I hope this stays in like the same dungeon, just second part of it or something. Why is there a load screen here though? It's kind of weird. Looks like the boss is at it. What was that? Now ain't this a surprise? Oh! Take your bleeding! 
Ow. We stuck, huh? You won't leave Sky Thank goodness they've got cheese. Not even joking, guys, I want to go get some cheese right now. Seeing those cheese wheels. Mmm, they look good. Alright, I'd say we're good in here. Nice bar you got here. Might get to 44 from this. Nice. One more level then. read that one. I don't think I get anything from reading it the second time. Ew. Not sure what that's all about. Missing hands next to skooma. Did somebody try to steal somebody's skooma and so they lost their hand? That's a, that's a lot. That was painful. Hold on, I need, I need to, no out of there. No, please, magic. I wanna I wanna uh, I wanna put on my berserker rage. Is it really used already? I guess it is. Okay. Please don't hit me. If that one gets me, I'm dead. Please. I think it had enough of them back here. Oh my god. Okay, we made it. I'm surprised my Berserker Rage was down. Unless it shares a cooldown with the Shout. I don't understand why it's down. It says once per day, and it definitely hasn't been used today. All right, well, we got him. Letter from Halvar. The Warhammer of Inebriation. Hmm. Unique one, huh? No one knows what inspired the Enchanter to create a weapon fueled by drunkenness. While you're tipsy, it absorbs 15 stamina per hit. As you strive 
to become dead drunk, the effect increases up to 60 points. So it absorbs their stamina? It steals their stamina? Does this not have a recharge on it either? It's just, like, guaranteed? It looks like it's uh, glass, too. I bet if we buff the damage on it, it'd be as good as ours. That's awesome. So this steals their stamina? That's badass. And he's got a full Nordic set. That's some nice heavy armor. Oh, dude, we're taking all this. Good stuff, my man. Thank you very much. Okay, you go over there. Make sure I'm getting all the bodies here. You go over there. Okay, that was everything. Cool. Good deal. Already got you. Yeah, I've lured you like three times. Definitely got you already. Very nice. Alduin is real. Okay, I want to read the Alduin is real one, though. Not right now, but I want to read it eventually. Alright, while we're looting, this is The Wolf Queen by Wagen Jarth. The Life Story of Queen Potema. Book 1. From the pen of the 1st century 3rd era sage, Montkai. 63 of the 3rd era. In the autumn tide of the year, Prince Pelagius, son of Prince Uriel, who is son of the Empress Kintira, who is niece of the great emperor Tiber Septim, came to the high rock city-state of Camlorn to pay court to the daughter of King Volstade. Her name was Quintilla, the most beauteous princess in Tamriel, skilled at the maidenly skills and accomplished sorceress. Eleven years a widower with a young son named Antiochus, Pelagius arrived at court to find the city-state was being terrorized by a great demon werewolf. Instead of wooing Pelagius and Quintilla together, went out to save the kingdom. With his sword and her sorcery, the beast was slain and, by the power of mysticism, Quintilla chained the beast's soul to a gem. Pelagius had the gem made into a ring and married her. But it was said that the soul of the wolf stayed with the couple until the birth of their first child. Year 80 of the Third Era the ambassador from Solitude has arrived, your majesty, whispered the steward Balvus. Right in the middle of dinner, muttered the emperor weakly, tell him to wait. No, father, it's important that you see him, said Pelagius, rising. You can't make him wait and then give him bad news. It's undiplomatic. Don't go then. You're much better at diplomacy than I am. We should have all the family here, Emperor Uriel II added, suddenly aware how few people were present at his dinner table. Where's your mother? Sleeping with the Archpriest of Kinnereth, Pelagius would have said, but he was, as his father said, diplomatic. Instead, he said, at prayer. And your brother and sister? Emil is in first hold meeting with the Archmagister of the Mages' Guild, and Galena, though we won't be telling this to the Ambassador, of course, is preparing for her wedding to the Duke of Narsus. Since the Ambassador expects her to be marrying his patron, the King of Solitude, instead, We'll tell him that she's at the spa, having a cluster of pestilent boils removed. Tell him that, and he won't press too hard for the marriage. Politically expedient though it may be, Pelagius smiled. You know how queasy Nors are about warty women. But dash it, I feel like I should have some family around, so I don't look like some old fool despised by his nearest and dearest, growled the Emperor, correctly suspecting this to be the case. What about your wife? Where's she and the grandchildren? Quintilus in the nursery with Sepphoris and Magnus. Antiochus is probably whoring around the city. I don't know where Potema is, probably at her studies. I thought you didn't like children around. I do during meetings with ambassadors in damp staterooms, sighed the emperor. They lend an air of, I don't know, innocence and civility. Ah, I should have blasted an ambassador in, he said to Balvis. Potema was bored. It was the rainy season in the Imperial province, wintertide, and the streets and the gardens of the city were all flooded. She could not remember to a time when it was not raining. Had it been only days, or had it been weeks or months since the sun shone? 
There was no judging of time anymore in the constant flickering torchlight of the palace, and as Potemo walked through marble and stone halls, listening to the pelting of the rain, she could think nothing but she was bored. Astathy, her tutor, would be looking for her now. Ordinarily, she did not mind studying. Rote memorization came easily to her. She quizzed herself as she walked down through the empty ballroom. When did Orsinium fall? 980 of the First Era. Who wrote Tamrilian Tractes? Kosi. When was Tiber Septim born? 288 of the Second Era. Who is the current King of Daggerfell? Morton, son of Gothlir. Who is the current Sylvanar? Varbarinth, son of Varbaril. Who is the warlord of Lilmoth? Trick question, it's a lady. Iowa. What will I get if I'm a good girl and don't get into any trouble, and my tutor says I'm an excellent student? Mother and father will renege on their promise to buy me a Daedric Katana on, of my own, saying they never remembered that promise and it's far too expensive and dangerous for a girl my age. There were voices coming from the Emperor's stateroom, her father, her grandfather, and a man with a strange accent, a Nord. Potemma moved a stone she had loosened behind a tapestry and listened in. Let us be frank, your Imperial Majesty, came in a Nord's voice. My sire, the King of Solitude, doesn't care if Princess Galena looked like an orc. He wants an alliance with the Imperial family, and you agreed to give him Galena or give back the millions of gold he gave to you to quell the Khajiiti rebellion in Torval. This was the agreement you swore to honor. I remember no such agreement, came her father's voice. Can you, my liege? There was a mumbling noise that Potema took to be her grandfather, the ancient emperor. Perhaps we should take a walk to the Hall of Records. My mind may be going, the Nord's voice sounded sarcastic. I distinctly remember your seal being placed on the agreement before it was locked away. Of course, I may verily be mistaken. We will send a page to the hall to get the document you refer to, replied her father's voice, with the cruel, soothing quality he used whenever he was about to break a promise. Potema knew it well. She replaced the loose stone and hurried out of the ballroom. She knew how slowly the pages walked, used to running errands for a doddering emperor. She could make it to the Hall of Records in no time at all. The massive ebony door was locked, of course, but she knew what to do. A year ago, she caught her mother's Bosmer maid pilfering some jewelry, and in exchange for her silence, the forced the young woman to teach her how to pick locks. Potemma pulled two pins off her red diamond brooch and slid the first into the lock, holding the, her hand steady and memorizing the pattern of tumblers and grooves within the mechanism. Each lock had a, ge a geography of its own. The lock in the kitchen larder, six free tumblers, a frozen seventh, and a counterbolt. She had broken into that just for fun, but if she had been a poisoner, the whole imperial household would be dead by now, she thought, smiling. The lock to her brother Antiochus's secret stash of Khajiiti pornography, just two free tumblers and a pathetic poisoned quill trap easily dismantled with pressure on the counterweight. That had been a profitable score. It was strange that Antiochus, who seemed to have no shame, proved so easy to blackmail. She was, after all, only twelve, and the difference between the perversions of the cat people and the perversions of the Cyrodiils seemed pretty academic. Still, Antiochus had to give her the diamond brooch which she treasured. She had never been caught. Not when she broke into the Archmage's study and stole his oldest spell book. Not when she broke into the guest room of the King of Ghislaine and stole his crown the morning before Magnus' official welcoming ceremony. It had become too easy to torment her family with he these little crimes. But here was a document the Emperor wanted for a very important meeting. She would get it first. But this, this was the hardest lock she'd ever opened. Over and over, she massaged the tumblers, gently pushing aside the forked clamp that snapped at her pins, drumming the counterweights. It nearly took her half a minute to break through the door to the Hall of Records where the Elder Scrolls were housed. The documents were well organized by year, province, and kingdom, and it took Potema only a short while to find the promise of marriage between Uriel the Septim II, Emperor of the Holy Cyrodelic Empire of Tamriel, and his daughter, the Princess Galena, and His Majesty King Mantiarco of Solitude. She grabbed her prize and was out of the hall with the door well locked before the page was even in sight. Back in the ballroom, she loosened the stone and listened eagerly to the conversation within. For a few minutes, the three men, the Nord, the Emperor, and her father, just spoke of the weather and some boring diplomatic details. Then there was a sound of footsteps and a young voice, the page. Your Imperial Majesty, I have searched the Hall of Records and I cannot find the document you asked for. There, you see, came Potemma's father's voice. I told you it didn't exist. But I saw it, the Nord's voice was furious. 
I was there where my liege and the Emperor signed it. I was there. I hope you aren't doubting the word of my father, the Sovereign Emperor of all Tamriel. Not when there's now proof that you must have been mistaken. Pelagius' voice was low, dangerous. Of course not, said the Nord, conceding quickly. But what will I tell my king? He used to have no connection with the Imperial family, and no gold returned to him as the agreement, as he and I believed the agreement to be. We don't want bad feelings between the kingdoms of Solitude and us, came the Emperor's voice, rather feeble, but clear enough. What if we offered King Mantiarco our granddaughter instead? Potema felt the chill of the room descend on her. The Princess Potema? Is she not too young? asked the Nord. She's thirteen year old, says her father. That's old enough to wed. She would be an ideal mate for your king, said the Emperor. She's admittedly, from what I see of her, very shy and innocent, but I'm certain she would quickly grasp the way of court. She is, after all, a septum. I think she would be an excellent queen of solitude. Not too exciting, but noble. The granddaughter of the Emperor is not as close as his daughter, said the Nord, rather miserably. But I don't see how we can refuse the offer. I will send word to my king. You have our leave, said the Emperor, and Potema heard the sound of the Nord leaving the stateroom. Tears streamed down Potema's eyes. She knew who the King of Solitude was from her studies. Mantiarco, 62 years old and quite fat. And she knew how far Solitude was and how cold in the northernmost clime. Her father and grandfather were abandoning her to the barbaric Nords. The voices in the room continued talking. Well acted, my boy. Now make sure you burn that document, said her father. My prince, asked the page's querulous voice. The agreement between the Emperor and the King of Solitude, you fool. We don't want its existence known. My prince, I told the truth. I couldn't find the document in the Hall of Records. It seems to be missing. By Lorcarn, roared her father. Why is everything in this palace always misplaced? Go back to the Hall and keep searching until you find it. Potema looked at the document. Millions of gold pieces promised to the Kingdom of Solitude in the event of Princess Galena not marrying the King. She could bring it to her father and perhaps as a reward he would not marry her to Mantiarco. Or perhaps not. She could blackmail her father and the Emperor with it, and make a tidy sum of money, or she could produce it when she became Queen of Solitude to fill her coffers and buy anything she wanted. More than the Didric Katana, that was for certain. So many possibilities, Potema thought, and she found herself not bored anymore. I'm gonna scour this place until I can find a stinking chest, because I want that other master chest, man. If only I hadn't looted that, uh... That key, I could have locked, picked the other uh, doors and I would have gotten in. Would have been able to do it. Finding keys is convenient, but it's not the right way to go about it. If you want to get into stuff, you know, if you want to learn. Come on, one more random chest over here I can break into. Didn't loot this guy. Or this one. No chest. Are Nordic arrows better? Mm, no, regular Nordic arrows are better, but not ancient. Ancient Nordic arrows are crap. Okay, we're warm, we're fine. Making them walk the plank. Okay, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure that's all. Missed this stuff. Good loot, good experience, just not quite enough lockpicking to get that thing. If you ever want to camp out somewhere, though, this is a nice spot. Got the archery stuff over here and everything. Okay, onward we go. Back to our mission, trying to find the Greybeards. Alright, Dance. Time to blow this popsicle stand and head on our way towards Iverstead. I'm sure we'll get lost somewhere else along the way too, but that's the nature of Skyrim, I suppose. Ah, directions. Get off our horse here and grab some butterflies. I was told that I think uh, blue butterflies plus another fairly easy ingredient are used in a very good alchemy potion. Maybe it's like an alchemy potion that increases your enchanting, I think is what someone said. Anyway, we're looking for Iverstead, which, uh, is this way? 
I, yeah, it is. There's not really a road going that way, is there? I mean, you're not wrong, signpost. You're not wrong, but you're also not exactly pointing to a road over here. I think we just follow this river, yeah? Although we're following this river up into the mountains, which is rough. I don't know. There is a bridge over here. Well, kind of a bridge. But I'm not sure how helpful that is to go across over there. Ah! Okay, I'll, I'll skin him and get his meat and stuff. The wolf venison is quite good for training. Gives you magicka back, too. Can I even get up here? I th eh, it's just kind of rough. I don't know about that. I think we have to cross over here, Dan Snow! Okay, we're okay. We're alright. <laughs> we're okay. Uh... Dan's despawned. Oh, no he didn't. Okay, there he is. Thank goodness he's a Skyrim horse and he can do the impossible. Alright, carefully. Carefully. Did I just knock him off? I didn't know he was there. I didn't see him. Oh, he's, he's still there. All right. I thought I knocked him off. That would have been freaking hilarious. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Hey, stop shooting dance. Nope, no, no, no. Let me loot him. Oh, crap. Well, I'm not going down there to loot him. It's too far. Oh, hey, there's a chest here. I guess this is his chest. Probably his ill-gotten gains as he taxed people crossing his bridge. Oh god, a depth lock. We could be here a while, folks. There we go. Oh boy, 30 septums. That was certainly worth my time. Oh, hey, look, there was a path here we could have taken. All right, I guess that was the proper way to go. F find that path there and go this way. Going kind of slow there, Dance. You, like, injured or something? Did I bust your leg or something? Kind of a moron trying to run through the mountains like I'm not supposed to? As opposed to taking the proper path. What is this? This is like a empty brazier. Uh. Hmm. Empty cage. Cage door here with one of the cage doors busted off the hinges. Though, it, I mean, what would it be preventing from going here? It doesn't. Does not make any sense. I gotta keep going this way. Uh, what's this? Cave down here. Bears? Trolls. I think trolls are common, right? Common souls? It's not bad. Can use those for enchanting for sure. Note to the captain and Shimmer Shimmer Vermidium. Shimmer Vermidium. Okay, there we got it. Pronounced it. Note to the captain. Alright, note to the captain. What does it say? Note to the captain. Captain, there have been multiple complaints about attacks near the river northwest of the rift. We could use some more civilian support from that area for the war effort, so send a few men to investigate. It's probably just a couple of wolves, so you'll only need to send at most two men. Happy hunting. The, two, the true sons and daughters of Skyrim. Hmm, I guess it was not, though. We 
me a door. Thank you. Onward we go. Very pretty up through here. Friendly town, looks like. Oh, Iverstead, yes. Very pretty area. I really want to stop and get screenshots. So pretty. Valmir Inn. So what am I supposed to do here exactly in Iverstead? Hmm. Doesn't really seem to give me a clear direction here. Yeah, so pretty through here, man. Just really nice colors and textures and stuff. Honey Strand Cave. Right, let's see what's here, I guess. Bears. It's bears. Multiple bears. Bye bye, bears. Remember how hard bears used to be? Like how scary they were for me at first? Now it's just like, yeah. Just power attack them. They liked this for some reason. Where are you? Thank you. Another storm cloak dead here. The locked room. That's another lock picking one. I'm going to have so many things I can enchant. I have so many common soul gems, guys. I'm killing trolls and stuff, because I had all those, those soul tomatoes that were common or whatever. Now they're filled. I'll have so many freaking common souls I can do, um... I can enchant daggers with and make, like, really easy money. I'm just gonna be, like... I'm gonna have infinite money, pretty much, when I get back to a town and actually do some enchanting. It'll level my enchanting up really quickly, too. Should be fun. Oops, wrong button. Wrong button again. Exit. Dance. Where hath thou gone? Oh, there you are. You're right where I left you, I guess, aren't you? Okay. Onward. Uh, it's not that way. It's like this way. It's up. Can Maybe I should talk to someone and ask them... Hey, could you give me directions for getting up to the Greybeards? I'm supposed to go and see them. Gosh, guys, so pretty. I'm gonna get a save in just so I can come back to this exact time and place and get a nice picture of this place. With the sparkling water and nice sunlight and the foggy mountains. Excuse me, do you want to talk to me? Hello? Out with it. Oh, I guess not. He just ran at me so quickly. I made assumptions. Is this Vilemir or Villemir? Welcome to the Villemir Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. Villemir is what he said, I believe. I want to know. Is it absolutely necessary for you to bother me right now? Well, can you tell me about High Hrothgar? Clinic brings food supplies up to them once every few weeks, when the weather permits it. Other than that, they seem like a quiet lot. Don't really know too much about them. Clemic. So that's the... Is that the innkeeper? I'm sorry. I was curious. I didn't believe the stories. I won't go over there ever again. See that you don't. I promise to keep you safe, and I'm not going to break my word. 
If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. <clears throat> tell me more about this barrow. There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted, and you should stay away. Look, I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. The spirits haunt your town as well? Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrow. I think they're guarding it. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrow? I could check it out for you. If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. What can you tell me about High Hrothgar? The Greybeards are a solitary lot. I don't think they've ever ventured outside their monastery. We get the occasional pilgrim passing through here on their way to the summit, but almost all of them have returned disappointed. Disappointed, you say? Hmm. Heard any other rumors lately? Have you seen that shrine of Asura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Okay, we've heard about that before, I think. If you pass through again, stop by for a drink. We need to talk to... Clemic? I heard the gourmet is hiding out somewhere in Skyrim. You know, fella who wrote that cookbook? Yes, I know of him. I've heard of that. Um, okay. A pleasant journey, my lord. No, I'll tell you, Wilhelm. If I could sweep her away from here tomorrow, I'd do it. But Klimek still has so much to learn. Klimek is doing just fine. You should follow your heart. Perhaps one day, but not today. Klimek must be a fellow bard if they're... If he's trying to teach him, I think that's a bard. Not sure. Let's see if we can find Klimek. He brings the food to them. Supplies and such, so he ought to... Know how to get there. Give us some more information. Of course, finding him might be a challenge, too. I can't see you, Raider. I can't find you. Why are you hiding? Hiding? Hide, hide, hide. Don't make me sad. Are you okay? Raid was here, then gone. Went to gather plants and never came home. Nope, nope. Everyone looked and no one could find her. Wilhelm said she'll be back. Told Narvi not to worry. Raider will come back. What's wrong with you? With father, I said goodbye. With mother, I said goodbye. Raida leaves and Narvi can't say goodbye. Makes Narvi very, very sad. Narvi needs Raida to say goodbye. Okay, then. The mountain will eat you. Watch the mountain. Talk to Wilhelm, the innkeeper, about Raida and Narvi. We don't get many visitors through here, unless they're headed up to High Hrothgar, of course. What's the story with Narfi? Ah, he's harmless. He's been in a state ever since his sister Raida disappeared over a year ago. He just keeps to himself in what's left of his folks' farmhouse across the river. You told Narfi she's coming back? I just said that to make the poor guy feel better. I'm pretty sure she's dead. Raida would gather ingredients from the small island in the river east of here. Then one day, she just vanished. I tried to look for her, but she never turned up. Okay, uh, anything dangerous on that small island? I've seen some sort of a cave entrance over there. Folks call it Geierman's Hall, but I don't know why. Probably best if you avoid it for now. It didn't seem to do Raida any good. Fair enough. If you pass through again, stop by for a drink. I guess we can investigate that real quick. It's not too far away, it seems. I do want to look around a bit more for Klimek. Seems like he might be able to guide us up the mountain. What 
we have here some standing stones. Shroud, heart, barrow. It's awfully close by to the town. It's in the town here. Seems like there might be some some uh, draggers in here or something. Not a nice place. I don't know. What is in here? Let's see. Just open for anyone to go in here. It seems like a bad, I don't know, bad to have a town right next to this, I would say. Lit candles. Soul gems. Probably some dark sorcery about. Okay. I just wanted to talk. I still sense your presence, living fool. Before the ages of man. I'll check this one out later on. Goes into some deep, deep old school lore. We have like ten books to get through. Is this? This has got to be uh, some kind of trap, right? Okay, that does that. That does that. Aha! Got it. Triggers that. Okay, trap trigger. Thankfully, does not trigger whenever we break a lock pick, which is going to be often due to this lock's complexity. We did hit 45 though on our lock picking, so I can finally. You know what, I should just go ahead and pop some points on this, shouldn't I? I really want to do the other stuff, but I mean... Lockpicking is so annoying. Alright, we'll invest a point here. We still can't open master locks, though. What's this one? You have an act for spotting secret compartments. It yields more gold and rare items from containers. Okay, that's that's cool too. And then we have master lock picking, which is what, like 75? 90. 90 freaking lock picking, man. Crappy great sword. Okay. Time to end your foolish array. Soon you will know. Well, it's a guy, Wade Wendelius Galtherian. 
Huh. Fire sparks and just some crappy armor. I saw a trap attached to that too late. See where this goes first. Corundum stuff, we can scrap that. It's copper. I think. Not entirely sure what corundum is. It's just corundum, I guess. Okay, this is the ghost mage's study. This has got to be a door. Wendelius's journal. 200, 4th era, Morning Star. I've set up camp inside the barrow. This has to be the place. According to all of my research, the burial chamber should be located here. All I need is some time undisturbed to find the claw. It must be hidden here somewhere. Had a close call today with that fool Wilhelm. He came close to entering the barrow, but I was able to scare him off by rattling some pottery shards in a bag. These people are far too superstitious for their own good. It gives me an idea. After a few failures, I have come up with a mixture that should do the trick. The glow is perfect. I should look exactly like one of the supposed spirits the people of Iverstead believe in is haunting this barrow. I'm going to test it out tomorrow. Success! It worked better than I could have imagined. All I had to do was wander about the entrance to the barrow at night and wave my arms about. I had to stop myself from laughing aloud as they ran away. This should keep them at bay while I continue searching for the claw. Almost half a year has passed and no sign of the claw or any clues as to its whereabouts. This is becoming maddening. It, is, it has to be here. I can't risk hiring any assistance, so I'll have to continue alone. It isn't here. It can't be here. This isn't right. It must be the people of Iverstead. They must be on to my ruse, and they're, they're toying with me. They want to find the burial chamber on their own and keep the riches for themselves. Why? Why are they torrenting me? Why not just destroy me? I'm... Who am I? My head is becoming clouded. I can't remember anything. I have to read my journal and to remember my purpose. Am I part of this tomb? Am I meant to guard it? What's becoming of me? They shall not take my treasure. They shall all pay dearly for their crimes. Any who set foot within these walls will taste my wrath, my power. I am the guardian of Shroudhearth Barrow. All who oppose me will fall. Guy went nuts. Quite literally nuts. We gotta find the entrance. It's gotta be here somewhere. There is that locked door over there too, I don't know. Maybe it's there. This feels like there's a... a button we gotta push somewhere though. Hmm. Okay, let's check the other door over here. Is this a, uh, dragon word? Oh, the, okay, right, so there's a claw here. I have a claw, but I... It, it's not for this. Hmm. Okay, so all I have about this quest is to bring the journal of this guy to Wil back to Wilhelm in Iverstead. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, because I don't see a button or a switch or anything anywhere around here. And I don't want to waste too much of my time looking for it. So, let's go back. Maybe he'll know more. Maybe he'll actually have the claw and it'll be like, Oh yeah, I was totally messing with him the whole time. <laughs> That'd be, that would actually be pretty funny if it turned out to be true. We have to open this back up. Which is a pain. Okay, here we go. All through open now. Cool. 
All right, let's go talk to him. All right, Wilhelm, I found some information for you. We don't get many visitors through here, unless they're headed up to High Hrothgar, of course. I found this in the Shroud Hearth Barrel. Let me see that. I can't believe this. It was all just a fabrication of this Windelius character. I can't believe we were so stupid. Well, least I can do is give you something for taking care of him. If you won't accept it as a payment, consider it a gift. Oh, he just gives us the claw then. So that's probably the exit. <laughs> so he had it the whole time. Okay, fair enough. Um, what time is it? Anytime, it's eight. Friend. Okay, I think we probably stay here for the night and then continue on in the morning, which I'm probably going to end this one here and I'll see you guys in the next one in the morning and maybe we'll go check out this, the rest of this dungeon.